it down. The search is on for a shooter after a couple came under fire along I-95. I the father of one of the victims speaking only to Local 10 about the frightening moments. Local 10's Terrell Fournay is live near Fort Lauderdale with the exclusive. Terrell. And those victims are tourists from Colorado. They were here to visit family members when suddenly their ride was hit by gunfire. What in the world is going on? where people can get shot at just getting in on a highway. A father frustrated. His 23-year-old daughter was in the passenger seat of this great Tesla when someone in another car opened fire, hitting the girl's boyfriend who was behind the wheel. When they were getting on the ramp, this car was trying to kind of squeeze them out. But she said he slowed down, I guess, to let them merge in. I, I'm not sure. And that's when the shots rang out and the car hit the guardrail. In these images, you can clearly see the airbags deployed and the injuries the young woman suffered during the subsequent crash, all minor compared to what her boyfriend is now dealing with. She told me that Macaulay had gotten hit in the chest area and in the head. The bullet had grazed his head. The crime happened around 3.15 early Thursday morning in the southbound lanes of I-95 near Sample Road in Pompano Beach. FHP troopers shut down the highway for hours. Detectives now soliciting the public for crucial clues. Whether this was um, targeted or road rage or a stray bullet, that's these are details that detectives are still digging into. The victims told family members they were followed from a nearby charging station they used for their electric car and that their out-of-state plates may have made them a target. And I'm very concerned about this senseless violence that we seem to have going on all over the place. And Jeff Brown's daughter has since been treated and released from the hospital, but her boyfriend remains in the care of doctors being treated for those very serious injuries, but he is expected to survive. Meanwhile, investigators, they want anyone who was in that area, especially if they have dash cam video to pick up the phone and give them a call, they could be the key to cracking this case. We're live near Fort Lauderdale tonight to Rope 1A, Local 10 News.